log note, it's uh, March 3rd, linear time, 19. Uh, linear time. <laughs> what about log rhythm? So 1990, I think it is. <laughs> We're over here at uh, Pat McGovern's house. We just had breakfast and uh, covered a myriad of topics from artificial reality to uh, Soviet linkages. This is Pat, 1990. <laughs> there we are, that's right, before the uh, video cosmetic uh, processing is put on. Uh, you're right, this is, this, is a, this is before we're able to manipulate the images in real time. So everything you see is, you know, as, it, as we see each other. As I say, raw footage, that's yeah. right. Raw footage, uh, the basic raw materials here before yeah. we uh, start to do our uh, adjustment there to uh, be able to create the, the reality, the preferred reality. Yes, yeah, playing with time right. in ways that are aesthetically <laughs> pleasing to us. <laughs> That's right. To have our mental image uh, match up to uh, the uh, molecular structures that we have to live within. Uh, this is Mark Muchnick. I'm here practicing my advanced visualization from Comdex. When I last saw Pat, he was standing four feet away from me talking to his international managers in the Comdex booth, and I was standing on the perimeter waiting to speak with him, but after 30 minutes gave up and uh, figured I didn't have a story uh, strong enough to tell, so I went back and created a journal which uh, would then have more impact. But um, here we are, and uh, we go forward from this place. Hi. This is Henry. Nice to see you, but I forgot what I was going to talk about. Yeah. Well, you, you talked about a few things. Covered uh, <laughs> some of the history of, uh, of uh, human, uh, uh, human expansion research in the 70s, all the way up to uh, the Soviet link in the 90s. We know that our PC World Forum in Moscow in July will be a smashing success from an attendance point of view because Mark is uh, personally going to bring his, thir his 13 children and he and himself, so <laughs> those 50 people are guaranteed to help us put, a, put ourselves over our goal. Excellent. Is that possible to subscribe from the U.S. to your foreign editions? Oh, sure. So yeah. how do we do it? Um, your office here? Sure. I, I can put you on the list if you like. Or their addresses for all the public. Are these are these are your publications, Pat. These are. Uh, you write this several family album. We have about 130 uh, magazines, and newspapers in 42 countries. Now, unfortunately, we add about two every month, so this is out of date before it gets out to the press. But this was as of about six months ago. The right. Status of things. Yes, but we're working on a virtual we've added, portfolio. Uh, we've added two new publications in the Soviet Union, and we have our Polish magazine, and we're starting a Czechoslovakian magazine coming out in a couple of uh, months. Excellent. Yes, this, this man is Mr. Global. Here's a representation of his uh, global empire. <laughs> it's a, uh, this, his Pat doesn't just think global, he is global. Plus, I have to find places to hide so everyone can get work done, so I keep going to new countries. Thank goodness the United Nations represents or recognizes about 160 countries, so we okay. have. Uh, Here's the 161st? We have to quadruple our <laughs> coverage in order to uh, reach the limits of possibilities. This is a man who wears 84 wristwatches on each arm. Yeah, that's right. My ultimate dream is, uh, is to do PC World Albania, then we'll probably have <laughs> PC the, World the, Albania. The ultimate limit of penetrating the uh, <laughs> forbidden zones. So, like the human oh, nervous wow. system, uh, you want to be able to reach every pocket of humanity. Uh, That's right. Provide a sort of common program for people to understand how information technology increases their quality of life and gives them more information, more analytical power, better decisions, better economic productivity. You know, I, I see entertainment, a recreation, all those good things. Well, Everyone's happy parallel. around the world, they're going to make a peaceful uh, relationship with each other. There's a real parallel between what Henry's been accomplishing from my short vision of what he's been doing. I don't know everything, but and what Pat is doing. These people are on parallel paths to expand and make an even uh, a level playing field for all people based on their knowledge and their abilities and their intelligence to give them the information they need. And Henry does it on a cultural and ecological and person-to-person -person citizen diplomacy point of view where he introduces and gets the people together and just finds our common interests and they create a lot of synergy from art, from ecology, from uh, just trying to change the world person to person and Pat does it from a technology side and from a communication side. And instead of thinking of ourselves as Russians or Americans, we think of ourselves as Earth beings and uh, able to move forward in this universe as, as uh, you know, sharing our intellect and our common relationships. And uh, I think these two gentlemen are trying to free those things to happen. And they're to be uh, committed for it. Well, I stay in the background, which is even more commendable. Yeah, I consider that it's amazing, and uh, oh, that both of you are background time. artists. <laughs> and to, well, you know, the, uh, the way you get the best results from people is uh, let them get in the spotlight, and um, they'll give them the best efforts. Yeah. So we try to be uh, making sure that the uh, 
the stage is well organized, the crowd has been uh, invited to come to the theater, and the people can give their best performance. <laughs> this, is, this is the warm-up act, right? <laughs> right, well, I can consider this uh, historical, and I consider it a privilege to be able to help introduce you two with each other on this. Good, maybe we can play this tape on our 10th anniversary of uh, <laughs> joint activities together. See how the whole yeah, from uh, uh, What's your favorite way of traveling? Um, well, favorite way? Actually, I love uh, trains in Europe because you meet so many interesting people. You sit, huh. you sit in the dining car and you have great conversations mm -hmm. with people and you make a lot of, of friends. Uh, I wish the U.S. railway system was nearly as efficient as the Japan or the European ones are. Hmm. Uh, but otherwise, I'd, I'd probably do 300,000 miles a year by plane, just by the necessity of the distances between our different companies. Hmm. So you uh, use commercial aircraft? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Prefer that over uh, like, like Lear jets. Oh like yes. That? Yeah. Well, I think you have to set a, a role model of doing things in basic ways. So I'm a coach flyer <laughs> around the world. Sometimes really? Bruce is a little stressful for some people. Well, everyone's supposed to be flying coach, but a few people sneak into business or first class, and occasionally <laughs> I wind up unexpectedly on the plane. You know, and they <gasps> they hold the newspaper up and <laughs> hide, them, hide themselves. But that's you know that, that's fine. It, it, obviously, there's their own bottom line. That, yeah. is the key parameter of how well they're doing. Then they explain mm -hmm. how they upgraded with free coupons. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's, it's really not your money, Pat. The frequent uh, traveler programs is a major excuse. You know, I just they just granted me this thing. I didn't know. I was so surprised when they asked me to move up. I guess they must be overbooked in the coach or something. <laughs> Which is, I've always found that the people who own their own companies or spend their own money are back in coach. And oh, yeah. The rock stars and the government officials are sitting up in first class uh, living off of other people's income. One of our toy company directors says he likes, he thinks, if you're doing something important enough to be worth a trip around the world from halfway, you mm -hmm. ought to be in business class, not first class. Just so you arrive there arrested and not feeling exhausted. Mm -hmm. From his point of view, it pays yeah. off, or at least yeah. for senior executives as well. Well, first class, they can, they, you know, offer you so many uh, things, some oh, yeah. uh, enriched food to <laughs> too many libations by the time you arrive. Oh, yeah, right. Probably in a great condition to do best things. <laughs> but your suit is well pressed. Because <laughs> <Yeah, with laughs> right. you had plenty of room to move around. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes you, in the 747s, you get the four across coach seats and actually make a better bed than yeah. this, this sort of lean yeah, back uh, seats there in business. Not many yeah. mm -hmm. So uh, being a role model, is, uh, has that been a drain on you anyway? <laughs> a role model? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a role model. But uh, I'm just... Uh, An example, I should say. Yeah. I try to. I know. I thought we just spend my time looking for the new, the next new opportunity. So, so people uh, um, enjoy my absence primarily. I guess they always give me schedules of the next possible trips when I arrive back at the office. <laughs> but it's marvelous. The excitement about information technology in new countries. I mean, here it's you know doesn't it's not really a gee whiz issue anymore. Saturation. But when you go to the Emerging countries, they see information technology as their real engine of economic development and uh, you know, educational advancement for their people, and they, they uh, treat you with tremendous uh, enthusiasm, and you, you feel, yeah, you like to have a tremendous time just by the perception they have that you're going to be able to do something very important for their national development. Which is true. It's exactly what happened to me. I, 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 can, I possess a lot of knowledge about a lot of things in technology, but it's not valuable here. Mm -hmm. I go to the Soviet Union and I'm brought right to the forefront of the leaders of the technology community, and they're saying, well, you know so much, you can help us. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Wasn't you. you can't get a call into the White House, but you arrive in these other countries and the Prime oh, Minister yeah. calls you up and invites you for the dinner and you meet all the <laughs> key uh, legislative and economic uh, leaders of the country in, mm -hmm. in a very short order. I've been You're never a hero in your own hometown. I've <laughs> <laughs> noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 